We know that parrots pluck their feathers and that, generally speaking, it is an indicator that something is off with their well-being. Either um, maybe they're around something that they're allergic to, maybe they have a yeast problem, those could be physical issues causing the lack of well-being, or maybe they're stressed out, maybe they're bored. There are a lot of different reasons and it can happen in the wild, but we certainly notice it in captivity. So even though I have 22 plus species of parrots, most of my parrots don't pluck, but I do have a couple that do. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond, Get to Know African Grey and Cape Parrot, Feathered Splendor, and I'm working on a fourth book. This right here is lemongrass. Lemongrass fortunately doesn't pluck, although lemongrass is not quite six months old. Lemongrass is a lineolated parakeet, or a linny, I like that one better. This is one of the three South American parakeets or New World parakeets, because parakeet means long tail. And I love linnies. But I'm gonna to talk to you today about a love bird who plucks and hopefully help you out um, a little, not too much, in case you have a plucker as well. So as always, my mission is to help increase your blissful bond, reducing the need for rescues. And today I'm hoping to do that a little bit, talking to you about plucking and talking to you about what I tried to do with plucking. Now, plucking is a really hard thing. And fortunately, uh, my Gala used to pluck and she has a little nakedness like on her belly. Those feathers, once they've been plucked enough, they they can damage the follicle and not grow back. So her feathers don't grow back. We never see her plucking. So that seems to be stable. My African gray Hera, she, um, we adopted her as an adult and she was plucking and some of her feathers don't grow back and she definitely still plucks some. It doesn't seem to get worse, but like it's, it's an okay situation. I'm not thrilled about it. But one of the problems with plucking is that once a parrot has done it for about a month, they develop a habit. Now, if you've ever tried to break a habit, you know how hard it is and you know that you, you need to do it for like, I think the latest research said about 60 days. And if you could do it for 60 days, you can eliminate the habit and hopefully start a new and healthier habit. Well, the same is kind of true with parrots. If, you, if they do the plucking enough, it just becomes a habit. And then even if the problem goes away, sometimes they continue to pluck, which could be difficult and dangerous. In the worst case scenario, when plucking escalates, it winds up with them hurting themselves, as in the case with our little lovebird. So we were given a pair of lovebirds. They were surrendered to us. And unfortunately, the male plucks. He plucks pretty good. I was hoping that in my home, he would do better, he would stabilize and that he would stop plucking. But like I said, once that habit's in place, I think the habit is already too established and I couldn't get him to stop plucking. So my husband happened to have caught a video in which someone showed how they dealt with their African gray who was plucking. That was my Indian ring neck and I can't let her be aggressive with um, lemon grass. Hi, come here. I know you just can't go on on lemongrass's side. I know. She is telling me that she loves me and that she wants me to feed her and mate with her. And I keep explaining to her that I can't. I'm sorry, love. So I'm very careful to only pet her head and her neck to not give her any hormonal triggers. So. My husband was watching a video about what a lady did and she created like kind of like a donut out of felt a double donut and was really smart about putting the hole over the head of the bird and leaving a skirt so to speak from the neck down so that the idea was that the african gray couldn't pluck well i thought it was brilliant because as a whole you know there's no opening for the bird to open and since it was doubled and sewn together, I thought the thickness might be good. And I thought that might be a great way 
to give the bird something to pick at the felt and sort of switch the habit and switch from pulling on its own feathers to pulling on the felt. I tried that. And our little not tame lovebird snow very quickly got out of the first attempt, which was a green layer and a white layer of felt. <sighs> In addition to being lightly tortured, he just got out. So then I thought, well, I'm gonna make one more layer and I'm gonna make the neck a little smaller, see if that helps. It wasn't impossible by any means, and we don't wanna hurt him, of course, but it wasn't impossible to put it through his head again. We got it through. And then I put the other one on so that he had three layers of felt. And again, he got it off. The trick is, of course, that you want it to be big enough to get past the skull, small enough to stay on the neck. And I don't know how this person got it to work if it did. Maybe they put it on their bird and, and then maybe it didn't work. I just don't know. So that was my attempt. You can always take your prayer to an avian vet unfortunately plucking is pretty common my avian vet told me that she has seen just about every species of parrot pluck um, and your avian vet can check to see if it might be something physical like an allergy or some sort of issue like that um, they of course can't necessarily resolve if it's something emotional like boredom or sadness anything like that but they may, may be able to help you piece it together. And sometimes you can have them, if you like, you can ask about having them prescribe Haverdal, which is a drug that helps them kind of like get that fix in the brain without doing the plucking. And the idea is hopefully you replace it and they don't pluck. And you know, now they got the fix without hurting themselves. So there are some ideas for you. I think the very best thing to do is to try to address the issue, which is hard to do because the list of potential issues is at least 10 possibilities long. So you have to sort of watch your parrot and try to ascertain what you think is bothering them. It may be something really easy and obvious, like you have a dog that barks at them in their cage and at that point, you know, you need to separate the dog and the bird, or it may be something difficult. I mean, you might not know. There are things like aerosols, if you use an air freshener or if you smoke, those things can definitely cause plucking. It's very hard on their respiratory systems because their respiratory systems are accustomed to and made for being at an elevation up in a tree where the air is going to be so crisp and clean kind of thing. And so when we expose them to aerosols or anything else in the air, that can be really hard. Um, it, it can be really hard on the respiration system and it can result in plucking. So try to watch your bird and see what they have or what's going on. If they're lonely, try considering giving them another bird. One of their own species might be good, another one in another cage, just so that they hear another bird can often make a really big difference. If you try different things, try changing their diet, improving their diet, these can also be helpful things. Eclectus parrots, for example, can have some, maybe not exactly allergies, but when I look online, I've never had an eclectus, but I've researched them because I think they are wicked awesome birds. So within my research, talking to my mentor and stuff, I have learned that eclectus parrots should not have eggs. And yet when I look online and I research, sometimes it says that you can feed eclectus parrots eggs. They are toxic to them. So for example, if you have an eclectus and it's plucking and you feed it eggs, stop the eggs. That alone might make a difference. Try different things. Just like me, I'm trying different things. I'm really happy, like I said, when the plucking doesn't escalate because at that point, it's not a problem that is continuing. Hopefully it's a problem that has been addressed or that has um, placated and when you have a bird like I have, like the African gray I have that I adopted as an adult who had already plucked, um, while the plucking won't go away, they won't stop plucking or, or the feathers won't necessarily grow back as long as it doesn't escalate. And once you've had them for about six months, if they don't go back to plucking, then you have resolved it enough so that they aren't plucking anymore. Because sometimes when you first adopt a bird, 
the change, the massive change to everything that they know, probably the food, their home, the people, the birds in their life, such a drastic change can cause them to temporarily stop plucking, but then they can often go back to it. So try different things to try to keep your parrot happy and healthy because a happy and healthy parrot is the best kind to bond with. Now, if you want to check out my links below to my favorite rescue, to my books, to my merch, check it out below and I will catch you in the next feathered video. Please be sure to give my little lemongrass and I one of those, one of those, and then comment or put a question down below. It helps our juice and we'll catch you in the next feathered video.